Shepard, how did you get onto the Raya? Shepard came and helped me deal with the trial. I saw. You talked the Admirals into acquitting Tally. That was a good speech. Is there any way I can help? Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Damn, Shepard. Been a while since I saw anyone rail at the Admirals like that. Guess they can't court-martial you, though. <laughs> Glad they're off your back, ma'am. And that you didn't have to give them that evidence you found on the LRI. I didn't say anything about finding evidence, Cobb. Notice that, ma'am. Any idea what your next assignment's gonna be? Hmm. I'm gonna be escorting more techs around to look for signs of dark energy buildup. Maybe see if they can figure out what's causing it. Wherever they send me, it'll have to be less exciting than Haystrom. Stay safe out there, Rieger. You too, Shepard. Ma'am. Carl, just call me Tali. I'll work on that, ma'am. The Admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tali? I am sure he would have left you a message if he'd had time. He did leave a message. Rail uses last words to give Tally orders. That's all that mattered to him. I know how that might seem, but the fleet's safety was the gift Riel wanted to give to his daughter. I never asked for that. It wasn't the gift I wanted. I know, but it's the only one you could give. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kill us alive. Admirals would have faced a coup if they'd exiled Talizora after what Shepard said. I knew they wouldn't exile Talizora. Congratulations, Talizora. I was skeptical about your choice in captains, but I see now that I was wrong. Thank you, Captain. I'm just glad that this is over. You'll always have a place on the Rhine, whenever you decide to come home. Good luck out there. I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities. Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. I was just thinking about you. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. So the Collectors did take New Canton? Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. 
It is. But I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morinth suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... Monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. It can't be easy to talk about. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. <laughs>